Unofficial and independent visual art created in public for the public. I would define my work to be just expressionism, um, essentially a form of chaos in the way that I express, so I suppose that's why people assume my work to be street art. You've probably seen it all around Brisbane, from the vibrant murals to the edgy graffiti font. The origins of street art are synonymous with the chalk art and tagging by the likes of Keith Haring around 1970. It matured by 1980 into spray painting full train cars and then physically expanding into a variety of different locations. What are your thoughts regarding critics' argument that street art is an act of vandalism? It is subjective. The perspective changes, it differs to every person. See, I love the vis like visual wild imagery on the street but there is a line i mean yeah. there's a line there is a line but um to some people there is no line street art has expanded vastly past its original standards and practices often featuring a lot of social and political imagery to give you an inside perception we met with street artist well born what do you find most challenging about being a street artist finance Finance is definitely the hardest thing. Um, consistency um, and availability. Um, a lot of the time, a decision, a, a, an offer is an impulse from a buyer or from a, from a customer or someone, from someone who wants a piece, and they could have their eyes on a few different people. Um, if you're already doing a job, you can't do it one at the same time being available, and, but knowing that the need for sometimes that is to get more than one job in a month or two yeah. months, yeah, it's, so it's, that, that's the biggest challenge. Do you think this resonates with other street artists? Um, it's hard to give an opinion um, on how other artists would feel because the way I interpret street art, I feel would be very different from someone else who's gone down a different path of street art, um, who may have had greater experiences or different different experiences internationally or commercially. Um, my perception is still based around a form of innocence. So for me, I don't feel like my opinion would be the same. I think all artists would agree that it's super fun. But yeah, I couldn't speak for it on behalf of anyone else. Street art is a wonderful resource for the public to convey emotions and opinions. Artists put a piece of themselves out there for everyone to enjoy, interpret and experience. Learn the art of fear because your entire life as you grow up is basically governed by it. There is a set of rules and there is a set of guidelines to the way we should live our life and some suggestions that have been, are useful. But at the end of the day, it's fear which essentially guides your choice. Perhaps it should be said that all street art is art. From the vibrant murals to the rustic graffiti, they're all pieces that represent personal time, effort and emotion. Hopefully you too will get to experience what Brisbane street art has to offer.